We start by putting y is equal to v times x. Taking the derivative of both sides, we get dy upon dx is equal to v plus x times dv upon dx. Now we are given that dy upon dx is equal to f of y upon x. Therefore, this can be written as v plus x times dv upon dx is equal to f of v, which implies that x times dv upon dx is equal to f of v minus v. Separating the variables, we get dv upon fv minus v is equal to dx upon x. Now, integrating both sides and introducing a constant of integration, say minus c, on the right hand side, we get ln of x is equal to integral of dv upon fv minus v plus the constant of integration, where v is equal to y upon x. And this is the required solution.